Junbei-kun? Ah, hey, Fuka. What brings you here? Ah, uh, nothing really. I've been coming here a bunch lately. Is that sketchbook? Um. Ah, hmm? oh, yeah. This is where Chidori and I first met. What are you doing here, Fuka? Oh, I went home for a bit. I've been going back a lot recently. Oh, yeah? You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're a totally different person from when you first showed up. I am? Honestly, you were kind of a wimp before. But now, you're something else. I can't even describe it. You've changed too, Jinpei-kun. Yukatan said the exact same thing, but uh, I just don't see it myself. I mean, just the other day I was freaking out and throwing all that blame around. I'm a real piece of work, aren't I? That's not true. Man, I was so damn scared. I just couldn't keep my shit together. I know. I hate to admit it, but even now, I can't help being scared. You're only scared because you're choosing not to run away. We all feel that way. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Luca. That's why I want to protect everyone. After all, the dark hour is horrifying to think about, isn't it? But our persona's awakened, and we're here now. The future hasn't been written in stone yet, and I want to be true to myself. True to yourself? Hmm. You're really something, Fuka. Let's fight together. Okay. I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye bye.
Um, <clears throat> so about last time, uh, let's go to Hagakure. My younger brother and I were twins, but not the kind that looked the same. He was the better looking one. Everyone called me the uglier Suimitsu. They always compared me to him, and I can never beat him in anything. There was a time when I used to hit him for no reason, but even then he still treated me like a brother. Then in middle school, we bought steamed buns, and then he died. Food poisoning. They said the meat was undercooked. Just his bun, though. Not mine. But I couldn't even cry. I actually felt... relieved. I thought, maybe they'll all finally stop laughing at me. Thanks, but I know already. I was a terrible brother. At first, I tried to be more like him. I went to cram schools and did martial arts and everything. But I could never be as good, and eventually, I started to feel like people were laughing at me. The only time I feel safe is when I'm eating. All that matters is what's in front of me and everything else melts away. See? That's what the Gourmet King really is. I only eat to run away from my problems. But if I keep this up, I'll never be able to replace my brother. Will I? Be myself? Be myself! Is that really how it is? <sighs> I hear you. You're right. I can never be like my brother. We're two different people. How did I miss something so obvious? <laughs> I can be pretty dumb sometimes. Thank you. Really, thank you so much. Sudden, but I'm relieving you of your duties as the Gourmet King's Royal Guard. You're fired. Because you're the new king. All hail Gourmet King the Second! The restaurants in the strip mall gave this to me because of how often I eat there. I feel like I've been fake all this time. But one day... I will become the true gourmet king! I think I'll become a food critic. It'll be my job to eat. I'm gonna become a food master! Then when I die and go to the afterlife, I can face my brother. And then I can tell him I was the best at something for once in my life. So until I reclaim my crown, you can hang on to it. I may have lost my title, but someday, I'll make my grand return as Gourmet King the Third. That's my promise to you. And to my little brother. Huh. I've been talking so much about my brother, but... I'm okay. My memories didn't make me sad and hungry this time. 
Mm. Oh, wow. I never realized how good the ramen tastes here! You could watch me as I make the coffee. Thank you. Okay, the beans are freshly ground and accurately measured. The water is about 90 degrees Celsius. Now, the pace and angle when pouring the water are really important. All right, here I go. Pour slowly and quietly in a circular motion. You'll know you're doing it right when it starts smelling really good. It's not exactly what you'd get at a cafe, but I think I've improved a lot. There's so much to consider when making coffee. I get why people are so particular about it. Um, I know it's a bit weird to ask at this point, but when do you feel like drinking coffee the most? Oh, I see. You know, that's the weird thing about the smell of coffee. Drinking it is supposed to wake us up, but the smell has a relaxing effect, too. When my mom was still alive, the house used to smell like this every morning. Now I realize how often she'd make coffee, even on days she was busy. I saw on TV the other day that smells and memories are linked closely together. The smell of coffee reminded me of my mom, but in your case, I wonder if it'll remind you of the times we spent here. Drinking coffee together. In that case, I'd better practice and treat you to another cup while we still have time. It'd be pretty sad if you only remembered my coffee being bitter. I feel like I haven't gotten into something like this for a long time. I also think it's helped me practice staying focused. Maybe it's because I've been doing it so diligently. Anyways, thanks a lot. Because of you, I think I understand the taste of coffee a little better now. Besides, if my mom liked it, I'm sure I will too. Oh, there's still more if you want a refill. I've gotten a lot better now, so I hope you'll join me again sometime. Next time, it's gonna be even better than it was today.
What is it? Thank you for coming. <laughs> I've got some good stuff in stock. Take your time, browse. How many? Did that catch your eye? We have a deal. You like that one? Did that? We have a deal. You like that one? Did that? All right, I'll trade you for this. I'm sure this will prove to be useful. Is that all you need? Hope to see you soon. You think some two-bit merc like you has what it takes to kill me? Son, you're the one who will take over the family, so save yourself! Get the hell out of here! Thank you. It feels nice being able to pour tea for someone else like this. Oh, my apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. How about you, then? Are you having a good time? <sighs> that's good to hear. Chamomile is known for its relaxing properties, so maybe that's taking its effect on you. I was actually a bit worried that I might be putting you off. Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approach. Hmm? We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to... Actually? Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. All right, I think that's enough for now. We should start cleaning up. I'd like to invite you for this again, if time allows. But for now, let's head back to our rooms.
Ellie at the last episode. I wonder how it's going to end. You know, about this series? I mentioned before how it caught my attention, but I was afraid it might be too scary for me. But I'm glad I watched it. Guess it's important to break out of your comfort zone sometimes. Do you ever try watching things from genres you don't normally get into? <laughs> I'm the same way. Isn't it easier to try something new when you have someone with you for the ride? It's also nice to be able to comment on it and see the other person's reaction. Watching this together made me realize how much I appreciated the main character. Like how she can't turn a blind eye to people in need and extends her hand to almost anyone. And of course, the way she kept pressing forward no matter what happened. It was so inspiring. Come to think of it, isn't she just like you? <laughs> that might be a stretch. Remember how I told you about that girl I was close to who started ignoring me one day? It's not like I did anything to make her hate me. We've been friends for a long time, but one day out of the blue, she just said, my mother told me I can't play with you anymore. It's because there were rumors floating around about my parents. I kind of get it now, looking back, but at the time, I was just sad. What I'm trying to say is, this show made me realize I'd like to be a little more like the main character. I want to be the kind of person who'd help anyone at any time. Someone who's kind and strong. It might be silly to say I look up to a fictional character, but there's no harm in following her example. At least, that's what I think. Episode starting. That ending was so good. I hope they'll make a sequel. I'll bring more DVDs I'm curious about next time. Oh, it's about time we head back to our rooms. Have a good night, okay? good news. I guess it's coming back today. Mitsuru Senpai said her injuries are all healed up. We're meeting in the lounge tonight. Don't forget, okay? See ya.
I've returned, everyone. Sorry to have worried you all. Man, it's good to see you. It's been a whole month, you know. I was getting nervous. Me too. I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. I'm just a machine. I can always be rebuilt. Even if I'm completely destroyed, my programming data would still exist. Come on, don't talk about yourself like that. I was told she'd need another week for a complete recovery, but I had the work expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me while I was at the lab. I heard what happened. You've all been through so much. Have you been well? Well, given the circumstances, I'd assume not. I'm sorry. I could have done so much more. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... hadn't done what I did to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. As for what Ryoji-kun said, have you already made your decision? I have a favor to ask. Tomorrow, when Ryoji-kun comes back, please, kill him. I can't bear to see you all suffer like this. If you're in this much pain, I beg you, choose to surrender your memories. Even if... Even if it means forgetting everything. And everyone. I guess what are you talking about? Yeah, seriously. This is not like you. What is it, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My duty is to protect people from shadows. But now, it's clear that I can't defeat them. What am I even doing here? No matter how hard I try, I can't even shed a tear for you. I guess... Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? Why risk everything when it will only lead to suffering? You're all just throwing away your lives! I don't understand. We're not throwing away our lives. In fact, our eyes are set on the future. Isn't that right? Right. I don't understand. Perhaps it's because I lack a life of my own. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine created to protect humans from shadows. But I can't carry out that duty with the power I have. So what is my purpose now? I just... don't know. And no one can give me an answer. Well, yeah, you don't have the answers. The meaning of life or death isn't something someone else can just teach you. Making your own decisions is hard, no matter who you are. No choice is perfect, you know? But as long as we're alive, we gotta do something. When you see someone going through the same thing you're going through, you just wanna help them. That's how we plan on getting through this. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best explanation, but that's the idea. That's... the idea? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you, I guess. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you'll lose sight of your purpose and you'll have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, and what you need is to seek out a new purpose. I'm not really one to talk, but 
I feel like I've learned something important this year. To truly live is to be willing to change. And we have to make those choices for ourselves. Do you think I'll be able to change too? You have changed so much. Haven't you noticed? You've even started speaking like a real human. I understand what my purpose is now. I'm a machine with the directive to live. And the one issuing this new command is me. I'll stare fear in the face and choose to live. This is the promise I've made to myself. I'm not sure how I'll do it, but perhaps that's a part of living too. Yeah, it sure is. Will you allow me to join you in this fight? You kidding? Of course! You've always been one of us. Thank you. From now on, I stand with all of you. No matter what happens. Yeah! I suppose...
Hey, it's been a while. Midnight's just around the corner. When it hits, I'll lose this form, and I won't be me anymore. So, have you made a decision? Then, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. ryoji -kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you have to kill me influence your decision. Like I said, I'm gonna disappear either way. I don't have any hang-ups about dying. So you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> All right. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you decided? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm on board too. I've made my decision as well. Sounds like we're all on the same page. Better let him know then. Okay? Hey. It's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Though, back then, I had a different form and a different name. It seems like you all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But they're not the ones here right now. You are. I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and the memories of your battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up as a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day dreading your inevitable death. Nyx can't be defeated. It's pointless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? So then, you understand. I think looking to the future is a great way to live. That doesn't mean other ways of living are wrong. No one knows which road will lead to happiness. I'm really glad I met you. This must be what it's like to feel happy. Thank you, for everything. But of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. 
Man, this year really flew by. We're practically third years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? Looking at the current third years, I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is freaking study. Sure doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Hey, yeah, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute! How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Wait, she does? Uh, what's her name then? I don't know. Sheesh, then you barely know more than me! Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai's moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talk to him. And obviously all the graduates are leaving. Kirijo Senpai's getting ready to move too. Kirijo. Oh, the student council president. She's in our dorm too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there, are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> Not a chance. Man, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. Thank you. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly passed away due to illness. To tell the truth, after losing my father, I also lost much of my self-confidence. I had overestimated my ability to handle everything alone, because I believed it was the right thing to do. Few people can be that strong. There are times when we can't stand without the support of others. After my father's death, I received kind words from many people. You all taught me the value of allowing yourself to be cared for and protected. I hope to continue forward with the support of those around me. For us graduates, it was truly an honor to share the last three years with all of you. Thank you so much for those wonderful years. Man, that sounds rough. I guess even the student council president cries too, huh? Hey, she's not here. Who's not? You know, that girl we saw at the front gate. I thought she'd be at the graduation ceremony, but I guess not. Oh, her? Well, there's a lot of people who didn't show. Actually, I'm surprised you didn't skip. No shows, huh? Man, so that's gonna be us next year? Feels so soon. <laughs> What are your plans, Yukatan? College? Mm, 
I haven't really decided yet. What about you? <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. You know how the student council president was crying? I can sort of relate, since my dad passed away too. But that stuff she said about seizing opportunities? Give me a break. How does she expect us to know what to do with that? I mean, yeah, it's important, but that's more for people who already know what they want in life. Well, at least one of us knows what he wants. You seem to be getting along pretty well with a certain someone, if you know what I mean. What are you trying to say? I don't know. You tell me. <sighs> well, anyway, there's no hurry to decide what we want to do with our lives, right? I mean, I already have so much on my plate right now, you know? Hmm. Yeah. I guess that's true. Here's what I think. If life is all about the pursuit of happiness, then knowing the truth isn't everything, right? Sure, we do what we gotta do, but if we're taking a stand on every little thing, there'd be no end to it. In the end, it doesn't matter how you spend your time, as long as you're happy. No one's gonna fault us for choosing to live in the moment, right? Yeah, guess so. Man, that was some speech. To be honest, I'm not that strong on my own. And when I feel insecure, I get worked up. It's hard to explain, it's just how I am. Hey, I get it. Thinking never really gets me anywhere. When that happens, I just go do something fun and forget about it. <laughs> you would. Everyone's so uptight these days. They just need to chill out. You know, take it easy for a change. What are you gonna do if that plan backfires? I'll figure something out. But for now, let the good times roll. And on that note, who's down for karaoke, anyone? Let's celebrate our future! Celebrating is for the graduates. Well, I'll go if he goes. Hey, what's with the preferential treatment? Well, now you're coming whether you like it or not. I'll buy you a drink, all right?
Thank you.